All right. Very good evening. Sunday evening and it's around 9.45. So crucial week and view for the week. Uh, indices ke baare mein baat karenge, as we did last week. Now last week our view was that we'll reach the, we were at a trend channel high. So if we go in, we need to take care of this gap. If this gap goes out, then it can be a weak one. If this gap holds, then we can continue this upward trend up to somewhere around this gap. Now let us see what happened actually. So this is the trend channel from here to here was the trend line and this is the trend channel if you see this and as we predicted we came inside and exactly from this gap it started picking up now the main thing to be noticed just keep an eye here on this rally right on this rally this crazy rally three days the volumes are very dry right which means there are no volumes now, even if you check this rally, this crazy rally, this is from 15,800 to 18,100 in hardly like 15 days. So this big rally, very, very dry volumes. And then we had a bottom, a down one. Now we are going up again, but without volumes. When you go up with volumes, if you look at the whole of 2021, whenever the price is going up, it is supported by decent volumes. But now it's a different story. So let me show you what are the important levels for Nifty and what am I expecting. So very first, let me draw this big, big trend line, big trend line. Why? Because this is where if I join the first two points, the third point I mean, mil gaya, that shows that the trend line is very effective. See, we can't force a trend line on the price. The price has to show that this is a good trend line. So this price showed because it has caught a top and by joining two points, you got a third point. So details about i i go very much in depth in trend line in telecom but this is just an overview where you should know what is a good trend line what is a not so good trend line now my view is that hum log is trend line ke nazdik jayenge now what is this trend line so this is somewhere around 17750 17800 while approaching this trend line what are the major areas to look at so let me show you first and foremost this gap zone Okay, this, this big gap. So this is around 17,000, uh, say 280 to 17,000, approximately 500. So this was like a big gap down. Agar aap yahan pe dekho. So ye jo closing thi, this one, so this was 17,519. This opening was 17,230. It was a 300 point gap down. So this is, and even the price rejected here again. So this is a major gap. So you need to fill this gap first. Okay. Now, if we go to that trend line level, we will be somewhere near this gap. That is first thing. But the most important thing I always tell you that the budget day high low is very, very important for that particular year. So this is the budget day. This one, first of Feb, let us mark that. So this is the high, this is the high and this is the low. Okay. Now let us come back. So we are exactly at the budget day low. Now this zone is a big, big, big resistance. Why? First of all, it's a budget day high low. Second thing, it has a gap resistance. Third thing, we are approaching the trend line that we saw. Now one more thing let me show you is agar main yahan se leke pura retrace karo, which is from here, the top that was made to the bottom, which is here. I retrace the whole thing. So you will see that 17,300 is Fibonacci 0.618. That is a golden ratio resistance. And the next one is 17,850. So now we need to trail our positions closely. Should we short? No. Why? Because there is no bearish indication on the chart. If we get bearish indication, mil jai, then we will talk about a short. So for now, we need to trail our positions closely. How do we trail our positions? So what do we do? If you have long positions, I will show you in the morning. SGX dekhali, but it, 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 I'm expecting a gap up somewhere in the region of 17,280 to 17,300. First thing you should do is trail very closely. Yani agar aapka index nifty futures August ke level baat karo mein, if they open around 17,275, 17,280 plus, trailing stop loss 17,240. Because then if it is reversing, aapka profit book hona zaruri hai, right? Now, what do we want is that this gap should close and if the price trades above then we start looking for price action near that trend line okay so fresh buying at this level definitely no 
fresh shorting no only trailing that means the view on nifty is hold now let's go to bank nifty so this is bank nifty we do a similar type of analysis now one thing that i see in bank nifty nifty ke comparison mein ki yahan jo trend line resist kar rahi thi which is from this high if i'm joining this so yahan pe jo resistance tha so the price managed to go above that so we are now above this typically ye hota hai that this depth is replicated so aap target around 34 1500 point yani almost hum wahan pahunch hi rahe 38 38 200 ke kareeb so that would be a target now let us do the same analysis that we did for nifty so here also the volumes are not that great hum log budget day high low jo banaye which is here let us mark that so i select the option horizontal and i am marking the budget day high and budget day low for this year so that is 2020 so this is the high this is the low so just like nifty we are at the budget day low that means yahan pe ek gap hai right so if you look at bank nifty 38517 close and this is 3770 around 800 point gap down jahan wahan 300 points gap down on nifty your 800 on bank nifty so it's a gap resistance and this is the budget day high low. again let me tell you the budget day high the budget day low for that particular year make the trend and set the trend so jab tak hum uske upar comfortably trade nahi karte that means what is the budget day high now if you see here that is 38900 let's say 39000 jab tak hum 39000 ke upar comfortably trade nahi karte hum aggressive longs mein nahi rahenge so bank nifty mein kya hona chahiye if it opens gap up say somewhere here that is uh, say 37750 37700 to aapko sabse pehle trailing stop loss rakhna hai at a basic level which is 37495 4954ATQ you are just keeping below the round number which is 37500 and holding now one stock which is on my radar and uh, from what i know it had results on the weekend is this one idfc first bank kafi lambe arse ke baad after a series of the down moves that is a lower tops lower bottoms it has managed to make a higher bottom volumes are picking up which is always now for this stock if you look at the major level this level okay 38 which is a previous support right this check a major price action has always happened here right aap pehle se bhi dekhoge to kafi important level hai that's why when you are approaching this level again what we need is a close above 3850 once this stock closes above 3850 i think we can keep on targeting levels so the first level would be 44 ab baat karte karte is lagega that 38 to 44 kya hua 38 to 44 is somewhere around 15 20% almost right so 38 and uh, up 47 44 now it's a 10 percent move which is big so look at these kind of stocks in the market for cash investments where you know that volumes are picking up and uh, uh, if you look at even now agar aap paper industry dekho like west coast paper uh, jk paper they are doing well then you start looking at uh, rain industries hey they are doing well so try to find out volumes ka pick up ho raha hai and we'll do some mid cap session this week but for now let us talk about the indices so i told you about nifty i told you about bank nifty now quickly let's look at let's look at nifty i don't it's not in future so uh, anyways nifty it but overall if you look at the it stock so agar aap infosys ko dekho so you see that here when the price is going up the volumes are decent right but can you can you be an aggressive buyer when you see these kind of gaps i would not be mai itna aggressive buying nahi karunga but is chart mein sabse pehle kya dikhna chahiye that itne bade downfall ke baad you are now made a higher bottom and you are also made a higher top so isme agar dip mil jaye then this would be a very good buy right and you can target somewhere here that is around 1600 levels similarly tcs tcs there is a very simple trade for me which in fact i had given and now if you see this particular trend line is a big one matlab ye ek bada resistance hai yahan pe jab price aayegi tab iske bare mein baat karenge which is somewhere here but for now the short term trend line which is clearly working is this one right and we have managed to close above this so i think for tcs there is some upside now you can look at these levels that is somewhere around 3400 3425 34, so it overall is looking good and uh, auto sector is a little stuck i think we are almost nearing the top for auto so be a little cautious there pharma is very sideways 
and if you look at banks there are definitely a few good picks indescent is doing well and i think um, axis is at a good level so 715 is a make or break for axis you need to keep an eye there thoda bahut niche 710 tak bhi chal jayega so that's a good level kotak is showing a bit of weakness but hdfc bank is also picking up well after a long long time so i think banking has a little steam left so this week i feel is going to be major action so the levels that i have given 17350 to 17650 for nifty extremely crucial make or break then bank nifty as we saw the current price that is from somewhere around 37700 to 38800 that is a budget day high low this one so around 37700 to the high that is 39000 extremely crucial zone so aap jitna bhi profit so start taking the profits of the table so that if there is a reversal either then see agar reversal aaye to wo matlab agar ek bearish candlestick pattern aaye at our level we cannot stay right from the first pat candlestick pattern that it's going to be a reversal it can also be a dip so for the reversal we need to confirm volume all those things and when i see a reversal i will definitely share it with you so that you don't miss out this time and we are very much active in the market so let's see how it goes august and september typically set the trend for the next few months so tomorrow the august series is starting from a date perspective first of august so let us see how it opens how it sustains how it closes and what is lying ahead for the week and in the middle of the week again i'll come up with a few stocks and mainly on the mid cap radar so thanks a lot and happy trading